Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And a feature that Wargaming promised us towards the end of last year is looks like it's finally going to arrive in the game. It is the Anonymizer. Now, this is going to be a feature that effectively allows you to randomize your name inside the battle, and so the enemy team aren't going to be able to focus you with mods like XBM, or alternatively, if they just see your name and they, they really don't like the look of it. Wargaming just released an entire dedicated YouTube video on this matter in one of their developer diaries, so let's check it out together. Anonymizer is a generic name for the tools that hide information about a computer, its IP address, or the user on the network from a remote server. Wow, okay, thank you for the Wikipedia reference there. Now I know all of what an anonymizer is. This is very serious, right? You'd see that you'd think that this was life or death. With an open game client. This allowed our players to create mods. Which mods vastly improved the game, game because <laughs> vanilla World of Tanks was great. absolutely horrific. The gun reload timer. The exactly. On the map. Exactly. Session statistics and many other things. All of these things. They were just mods at one point. Just and mods? Now, they're part of our game. Just mods? I mean, they, they, why, why, why are they just mods? Now they're a part of the game, you know? Like... They were just as good when they were mods. Wargaming didn't really imp improve them at all. They effectively just lifted them and put them straight into the game to improve quality of life massively inside it. Just mods. Okay. Why Why just mods? Mods are informative. They can also display the statistics of players you fight with or against in battle. Sure. 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 So this is specifically talking about statistics inside XVM. For any of you who don't know for some reason, what that means is that you can be able to see players' win rates, um, uh, a W and 8 score, which is an indicator of player skill, if you want to call it that. And then what people would do would use these to either target weaker players on the enemy team or stronger players on the enemy team to try and make their life hell. The win rate displayed in the team panels during battle helps evaluate both teammates and the enemy team. Yeah, okay. It motivates the player to be competitive motivates the player to be competitive. I, I, I can understand that sentiment because when I notice that I'm on a, a team which is less skilled or th than the enemy team, then sure, it means that let's go. I've got to really put in a huge amount of effort this game to be able to, to, to carry the underdog team to victory. All right. But it also serves as a source of toxic behavior. Now, I would totally agree with that as well. There's so many times, although it doesn't happen every single game, where a player has seen that they've got a very, just a casual player or a weak player, a happy little strawberry, as I like to call them, on my team, rather than some terrible tomato. And then they'll they'll use that to literally berate that player in game, which is just 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 pathetic. They've probably got a severe problem in the underpants department if they feel like the need to chastise players just for their statistics directly to their face, that is. Regular players and those with great stats can suffer from this. From being targeted, yeah. Be focused on in battle. Sure. Opponents often try to take down players with good stats first. Um, often? Um, that, that might be pushing it. Sure, sometimes it happens. Let's just say it hasn't stopped me being able to play World of Tanks. Okay. Streamers, players with famous nicknames. I guess that's me. Encounter, let's call them trophy hunters. Oh, trophy hunters. Okay. The same for everyone. You can't just play. That's why we're introducing an anonymizer in World of Tanks. <sighs> Look, I'm going to drop the bomb on this video immediately. I am by far the most targeted player or the most trophy hunted player uh, outside of the russian region by far the biggest twitch streamer i've got the, the my my youtube channel gets the the most views for only for world of tanks content specifically it, more people would know me in game than any other player if anybody has been affected by this more it would be me but it's just it's just a matter of fact this is humble bragging or just bragging outright i'm sorry i apologize but it's true, if anyone can relate to being targeted inside World of Tanks, it, 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 it's got to be me. So with that in mind, when we come to the future discussion of my opinion about this anonymizer and whether I think it's actually necessary in World of Tanks, just just keep it in mind. This is a feature that changes your real nickname in battle and hides okay. additional information. Okay. 
So, hides your win rate. It hides your W and 8. It randomizes your name. Anonymize your nickname in battle. The anonymize replaces the real player nickname with a generated one on the battle loading screen. In team panels during battle and in system messages, for example about destroyed vehicles. A generated nickname is not a template or abracadabra from which you can easily understand it's not real. Okay, so they're going to be sneaky. It's, it's not going to be kind of like anonymizer like 234 or whatever. It's going to be a believable name that should trick your opponents or trick your team into even thinking that it, it wasn't anonymized in the first place. Everything looks natural and is read normally. Understandable. Good system. Regarding the win rate, the players who enabled the anonymizer are displayed differently in mods. For example, How differently? Like new players who yeah. haven't played enough battles for their win rate to be displayed. Okay. Or as players with no information. So it's not going to break XVM. That's what they're saying. Uh, XVM will still work for people who don't anonymize their statistics. That's the key point to bring from what they're saying options. here. But their real nicknames are displayed in the post-battle statistics. Wow, so you're still going to be able to see who you played against who anonymized their name, but only in the post-game statistics. That's interesting. It's important to note, the anonymizer only works in battle. Yes. It's needed to combat trolling, abuse and stalking, all of which happen on the battlefield. Well, I guess I have been trolled, abused, and stalked more than anyone else, right? Outside of the the Russian, the Russian servers. Anonymizer will help to eradicate all these negative elements. Uh, well, firstly, wargaming. I'd hate to break it to you, but it, it's not going to completely negate people stream sniping you, which is one of the, the key problems that somebody like me would have to face. I.e., somebody wanting to sign up at the same time as you. It's going to be pretty obvious if they're watching the stream alongside you, that, oh, oh, what's that? On his screen, he's on Malinovka. Oh, he's playing a T-30 as well. We signed up at the same time and we've got into the same battle. Oh, there you go. I'm going to be able to, to oh, I, I wonder what that random name of the T-30 or Malinovka could be, right? Yeah, it's not going to fix that at all, is it? I guess it will help with um, when random people get into my games and then they see that I'm on the enemy team and then they turn on my stream to be able to to stream snipe me that way. The That's pushing it though. In all types of random battle, rank battles and frontline, as well as in some seasonal modes and events. Okay, so However, ranked will be good. Be disabled in tournament battles, in the training room, during tutorials, on the global map and in the stronghold mode. Okay, great. There's one thing to remember when yes. playing in a platoon. All right. Especially in a dynamic platoon that is created right in battle. This music. Most often with unfamiliar players. Wow. What, what, tell me, tell me. See the real nicknames of each other. <gasps> You're going to so see my friend's nicknames? Select your would-be platoon mates carefully. Wow. If anonymity is crucial to you. Okay. If you anonymize, it changes your nickname. In so I guess you shouldn't randomly invite people into a platoon with you. Because I guess this kind of snowflake generation thinks that oh they're going down oh, no they now they know my name oh they could they could abuse me or something like what it's just a name it's just a name it hides you from friends opponents and might entice you to violate. hides you from friend sorry did did I read that right hold on it hides you from friends opponents opponents and might entice hides you from friends. Okay. To violate the rules. Ah. You of your responsibilities. Yeah. The server will know. Oh. And be prepared. It's always watching you. The anonymous. Wargaming's it always watching you. Your skills or fight for you. No, it definitely won't. But for some players, it'll make playing more enjoyable. I guess. Them from unwanted attention. Sure. And allow them to focus on the game, and not on someone else's opinion. Okay. I'm just gonna be honest here, like. I, 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 are Wargaming making this for me? Like, is this for me? Is this meant to be for me? I mean, when they said that it's going to be for bloggers, for streamers, for YouTubers, for people who are significant inside the inside the, the World of Tanks community, I, I guess they're kind of trying to make it for people like me. Or at least, they're not just making it for me. Of course, they're making it for everybody who feels that they get, uh, that they get focused, XVM focused in-game, or everyone who's ever been berated by somebody on the internet in a direct message afterwards it's just i just does this really feel necessary it's just a name i don't know about all of you but i feel that just people seem to be so 
easily offended. Well, if so somebody sends you a message, an angry message in game, all you have to do is you literally go up onto the top of the screen, you right click the player panel and you click add to your blacklist or you block. Somebody's messaged you after a game, click the cross button and block them. Remember what I said about uh, possibly being the most focused or trophy hunted player on, on the European server. It hasn't stopped me from being able to play the game. I can still play pretty much, sure maybe like 1 in 10 games or 1 in 20 games, something will happen, somebody will, will rush into me and, and trophy hunt me as they want to call it. It doesn't stop me from being able to play the game. I honestly think that people out there who think that they are being completely focused all the time, every time. I'm talking to you unicorns or even you, you super unicorns or whatever, or, or people who just, wh whatever you identify with in a game. And you feel like the whole of the enemy team is focusing you because of XVM and this is why I can't do well in the game anymore. No, I'm sorry, it's really not. It's down to you and just either not being able to play better or not being able to push through your skill ceiling. I would argue that this is kind of completely unnecessary inside a game. When people think about statistics not being available inside a, inside World of Tanks, oh, that's how it should be, right? I don't know about you, have you have you played any other multiplayer games? When you load into League of Legends, for example, you can literally see what rank the player is. If they're in gold, silver, bronze, diamond, platinum, masters, whatever, whatever all the, all the little different ranks you can get inside League of Legends are, you can see as you're loading into the game. Also, what pretty much everybody in League of Legends does when they're trying to play ranked is they literally alt-tab and there are third-party websites that literally show you what the statistics of all of the different players inside the game are. Wargaming are effectively deciding that other titles which have competitive game modes where stream sniping should occur more of are wrong and I guess they feel like they, they that it, it's got to be XVM, it's got to be stream sniping, it's got to be those players being main, mean to people inside the game so what do we have to do? We have to remove names or give people the option to remove their names from the game. Don't you think that like what are we even doing if, if we can't have our tag in inside the game or we can't have our name there. Sure, some people just want to be able to play, but do we really have to to keep putting these layers and layers and layers of boundaries to try and protect people from just any kind of social interaction? Are we going to be playing a multiplayer game at this point or are we just signing up and this is one step closer towards Wargaming throwing in bots into the matchup? Sometimes I just wonder if it's Wargaming listening to, to the loudest people is this literally just for the 1%? Is it meant for the unicorns? Is it meant for the super unicorns? Is it meant for the streamers? Are they literally investing all of this time and effort into anonymizing people's names just so a tiny little percentage of the players can enjoy the game maybe like like 5% more or 2% or more or something? Because... I can still play the game. I should be the most focused player by artillery. I should be the most stream sniped, the most trophy hunted player on the server. And it hasn't stopped me from still getting about a 63% win rate across all of the different tiers inside the game. They're presenting this as a big solution to a big problem. Yet for some reason, on the other hand, they're deciding to completely change high explosive shells. Let's think about what Wargaming have actually done in the last few months, as opposed to just miss the Halloween game mode. Now, obviously, every single game mode, it's one of the first times that they've actually missed a big holiday season. But it's a disaster, really. And this run-up to Christmas is their most integral period for World of Tanks. And so far, we're on the 1.7 test server, where we should frankly be seeing the double barrel tech tree that we can have in time for Christmas, and we're not. We've got you can buy directives for credits. You can buy Sixth Sense directives for credits instead of bonds. We've got an anonymizer. Uh, where's the content? Now, while I'm really happy for the, the, in my opinion, significant minority of players who have been feverishly requesting this anonymizer inside World of Tanks, I just, I just really hope that Wargaming aren't buckling over focusing on tiny little things that are only going to affect a tiny percentage of the player base rather than actually focusing on the big picture of the real key issues and the real key content that they have to get into their game. Am I going to miss seeing the statistics of my team and the enemy team? Yeah, I, I really will. I, I used those statistics 
as a way to learn how to play the game better. Now, a lot of people are out there saying, oh, no, you use it to try and focus on tomatoes and pick up easy kills and how to just kill unicorns. No, come on. I would argue, on the other hand, that it allows you to figure out if a position that you used worked because your team was just way better than the enemy team, or alternatively, if the enemy team was way better than yours and they just completely steamrolled you and you can try and put it together to try and figure out what different positions work, what different plays have a chance to be able to impact the battle. And it's when you get into those games where you can clearly see that you are the underdog that you have a chance to shine. I personally think the World of Tanks is going to be for the worse if they implement the anonymizer changes. I don't see why we need to keep making, putting these layers of invisibility between people and, oh, we can't even see each other's names anymore. Are we playing a multiplayer game? And it's bizarre for me because in theory, I should be the one person in the whole of Europe who wants this to happen more than anything. It's definitely going to help me as a player. It really will. This is going to be absolutely huge for my game. I'm going to get focused much less by the enemy team. I'm going to get trolled much less by my own team, but it's also going to remove so much fun. If I choose to activate this, I'm no longer going to be able to interact with my team in the way that I previously could. Also, you're not going to have those little rivalries where you see an enemy player and you remember them. Oh, they were in my last game and they killed me when they were playing their Progetto 46 and now I'm going to go back at them and make their life a living hell as well to try and get some revenge. I think part of that is playing games. It's part of the human nature, which for me at least is one of the big elements of fun involved in, in, in why I love gaming in the first place. So the anonymizer. Is this going to be Wargaming's big feature in time for Christmas? Ladies and gents, I surely hope not. Wargaming, please get something meaningful on the 1.7 test server or you're once again going to miss this important Christmas period. All the World of Tanks players are coming home either from, from, from school, from university, from their jobs. They've got more time over Christmas. They want to play more things inside the game. Don't miss this important period. Get some content out quickly. Give us some content to encourage us to go and get out onto the battlefield and not incorporate tools that are frankly going to help the 1%. And as a member of that 1%, I guess, inside World of Tanks, I didn't really want them anyway. Anyway, ladies and gents, that's it for today. That's the Anonymizer. Let me know about what you think about it in the comments down below. I'm really interested to hear your opinions. How you can you not, can you absolutely not wait to be able to have this feature inside World of Tanks? Or are you with me that it's, it's really not going to make that much of a difference? We didn't really ask for it. And why are Wargaming investing so much time to try and make the lives of the 1% better inside the game? And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.